South Africans have had a tough time since COVID-19. Inflation has soared, interest rates are on the march. Food, electricity and fuel have all shot through the roof. Things were going well and then 2020 COVID came and then things got all off. And then now things are so expensive that we can't even afford um, buying things or food or anything. Like the life cost is just so high. I'm paying a rent, I'm paying a transport, I'm paying a school fees. It's too hard. Uh, we had a problem about a, a job. Uh, I'm working for myself, like cooking a maquinha to get her food. I borrow money because sometimes I have a problem. Consumers desperate to stretch their income are increasingly turning to buy now, pay later offered by online retailers. It allows credit free purchases over several weeks or months, an attractive alternative to traditional credit. Consumers are not in a position to be making big commitments like that. Um, whether they can pay for it cash or, you know, commitments that require some level of credit, whether, um, you know, more specifically unsecured, I guess, um, in this case. I think that they would rather uh, not use credit to, to service those type of items. But with the rising cost of living, it could easily backfire if payments are missed. Further commitments could weigh heavily on highly indebted consumers. You want all credit providers to follow affordability assessments and make sure that they grant credit to someone who can afford to repay it because we don't want to give credit to someone at the later stage they will struggle to repay. By now pay later could be a good option for consumers who cannot afford credit or have impaired records. But if not cautious, it could lead to impulse buying and weigh heavily on consumers already stretched to the limit.